January 24th, 2014, Central Florida Paintball, Lakeland, Florida. Today marks the start of a new season for Tampa Bay Damage, welcoming back one of their core members from a recent departure in 2013, when Jacob Edwards left Damage in the middle of the season to play for Houston Heat. I don't know, I felt like I was playing good, and uh, the coach sat me in the finals both times, and you know, I, I helped the team get there, but I never really talked to the coach, I talked to Joey, I talked to teammates and all that, but it felt good because, you know, in my mind it was right that I left Damage, and then we won that first event, and I was like, oh, well, you know, I found a new home. I basically, I thought I was on top of the world, you know. I do regret leaving this team because, you know, they're all my family. My family. All right, so uh, now that you're back on the team, now it feels like the family's back together. Uh, you think it, this is going to be the comeback here? Oh, yeah, we're going to win all the events, the events, the events. Each other. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Take two, let's go. Listen up. Three, two, one, go. As the day went on, damage ran back to back points, shaking the rust off from the off season break. As they got used to their new equipment and the new PSP rate of fire regulation, now set the 10.2 balls per second, it seemed the team gelled well on the field, despite the emotions of Jacob being back on the team. How do you feel about Jacob being back? Ah, it's a little brother. Glad to have him back, man. He was so pissed whenever he did leave, but now that we have him back in pairs, I'm ready to win some tournaments with him. I was, I was a little upset about it, but at the same time, I think it was a good learning learning curve for him. You know, he got out there, he got to experience what it's like not to have his brother on the team, play with people that he's never played with before, and um, now, I, I mean, I've never seen him more excited to play paintball than he is now. Besides sucking, I think Jacob's great. <laughs> no, it, it's great to have Jacob back. He's, uh, you know, last year we definitely missed him. I think he... You know, it was a good move for him, though. You get to experience something different, you know, and that's the great thing about paintball. You can just go from team to team also, you know. It's not a huge contract, so if, if you're not feeling it one place, you can go to another one. You know, get a whole different type of experience. You can play different tournaments, you know. Damage, we only played uh, the PSB, so, I mean, it's great for him to get over to Europe if he did. And, you know, just get to see different things that he didn't get to see with us. So, uh, I think it was a good experience for him, and uh, but it's great to have him back. Uh, I think it's great that we got, you know, Jacob back. Uh, you know, him and his brother are a dynamic duo. They, you know, they play well together. Yeah, I feel like the season, you know, with Jay coming back and everything, I think everything will be working just fluently. Just because between uh, me and him and Jason, we're pretty much brothers. And I mean, everyone's his brothers, but me and him and uh, Jason go really, whip back really far. So I think it'll be really good for the team and uh, him too, coming back and playing with the team. To me, second place is worse than last place because you're the first loser. Loser. Taking the number one spot at the West Coast Open gave Damage a strong presence coming in the World Cup 2013. I can Though many have been victorious at World Cup, this sport can be unforgiving. Turning the tables on Damage, losing bodies by minor and major penalties are great. Damage is and always have been a powerhouse team. No one thought we wouldn't see them on Sunday. So, We didn't make it to the next round on Sunday. It's hard to end a season where you want to turn it right before that and then not even make it to Sunday, but the competition's getting tougher, so we'll just have to get tougher. We're a team that, you know, grinds really hard and puts, uh, puts a lot of hard work out, so when we don't come out victorious in most of the events, especially World Cup, it kind of hurts, but, you know, we look forward to uh, this season and making things a little bit better. Last year, I honestly thought we were going to do a lot better than we did. Uh, since I've been on this team, we haven't really had a year that I'd say was a failure year, and last year was finally that year. Now we know what it feels like to suck. Last year wasn't our year. It just didn't feel right. Last year and years, everything gelled. For 
last years in the past, working toward this future now, and uh, I think this year's gonna be a much better year. Putting the 2013 season behind them, Damage looks forward to leaving their mark in the PSP Champions Division this year. With reports of Dalton Vanderbilt and Jason Wheeler joining the roster, Damage plans to capitalize on the number one spot. And now, a word from our sponsors. Stay tuned for previews from next week's episode. On the next internal damage. Vicious. For some reason, a lot of people are saying that the reason that they dropped down to 10.2 is to speed up the games, but I don't know. I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference, and ultimately I'd rather play 15 balls a second. Um, I found out about just last night actually from Joey, and uh, asked Dalton if it was true, and sure enough it was. Some people might say this person's better than this person, but really we're looking for the fit. And uh, you know, right now I think we got probably the best two that I could think of. So. 